Being on top of a tall piece of iron means you are a long way from the ground. And nobody likes to think about these things, but what happens if there's an emergency up here? We're gonna talk about the all-important tower rescue next. Accidents happen, but when they happen up on a tower, there is little margin for error. Say hello to Steve Andrews. Steve, so you pretty much have to be your brother's keeper up there, right? Because a lot of times you're not going to be in a situation where emergency services can help. So why don't you walk us through a rescue? What does the crew need to know? First off, Ryan, we need to know what's in our written plan. Hopefully we've done one at the start of the day, uh, which lets us know what equipment we have available, what personnel can do what, because you're absolutely right. We are out of the reach of a lot of first responders. Uh, it's up to us and up to your coworkers to get you to the ground uh, when crisis happens so that the first responders can, can act and, and uh, get you taken care of. So you assess the situation, then what? Then we're gonna get up to the patient and figure out what they're attached to, make sure they're secure. We're gonna address first aid concerns if uh, it's something we can deal with on the tower. We're gonna be mindful of suspension trauma and start to get to work on our rescue. So we've secured the victim, then what? Next is time to figure out how to get him to the ground. We can look at uh, equipment we may already have set up on the site, lines that are already there that can be utilized for us. Uh, any life rated mechanical means that we have could be useful at this point. If none of that's available to us, or if we're in the process of setting that up still, then it's time to take a look at the rescue kit and start to implement what we set aside there. So tell me what's all in the rescue kit. Well, we want an anchor strap of some sort. We want a descent control device and a rope that it's designed to work on. Any necessary connectors to make that system work, all nicely packaged together in a bag marked rescue only. That way it's set aside for rescue and the parts are there when you need it. Okay, so now that we have the rescue kit, what are our options for using it? Now we're gonna take a look at the situation and decide what's the safest option. That might be using the rescue kit from above to lower the patient. It might be doing a pickoff with the patient and the rescuer taking them down to the ground safely. Or that could be utilizing lines that are already out there and, and controlling that descent from the ground. So can I use a capstan hoist as a piece of rescue equipment? No, you can't. Unfortunately, capstans aren't life rated. However, the lines that are used with them sometimes could be if we're using the right line. If that's compatible with our devices that we have and it's inspected and ready to go, we can certainly reuse those lines that are already in place to help execute our rescue. Remember, and this is just an overview, use the Nate CTS for training requirements. Keep your rescue kit packed and ready because up on that iron, you never know what could happen. And as always, stay safe, my friends. <laughs>